point your children yes you can see this word that is vacation on your screen right and i hope many of you know what is the meaning of a vacation am i right children yes it's a holiday right where you love to spend yourself with small small activities moving out of your place where you stay every day right uh, it can be you can go to your granny's house or your native or anywhere it can be anything okay and some people even they set for uh, tours also right and of course children when you are in a tour you you may travel to many places uh, like it can be any uh, what do you call historical places or zoos or national parks whatsoever okay some or some people they would like to go for a beaches also okay tour it includes most of the places right but today in in means what today in the lesson we are going to learn means we are coming going to come across the national park okay so before that we have a small activity to do about that okay first we'll complete in your page number 27 okay so after that we will move on to the lesson okay shall we start start children yes so keep your books open you are in the page number 27 we have a small questions which will help you to improve your gk i can say you right so india has a rich variety of landscapes and climates this has made it famous tourist spot for people all over the world yes children of course we all know that it's not only that abroad countries have a beautiful places even we our india has rich places to visit maybe most of us might have not even seen at least 25% also right It means it's like full of greeneries full of very miracle things Uh, or very beautiful things which have our ancestors and all might have done and okay so there are many things about it can be related to history or it can be related to nature or science scientific related anything it can be but yes of course our india is filled with such kind of uh, places where we need to go once in a life okay so yes let us have a quiz to check your awareness about india our motherland okay so yeah let us uh, just check your uh, what do you call gk now so which city is called the pink city maybe you might have learn uh, learn this uh, word in your social studies okay which city is called as a pink city children yes it's jaipur right the rajasthan the capital of rajasthan pink city jaipur where is the famous sun temple of konark situated it's in puri right where is the holy shrine of the six the golden temple situated it's in amritsar which place is known as paradise of earth yes we all know that paradise is like wow it's like a beautiful palace and like okay wait this is kashmir then where is mahabalipuram it's in tamil nadu okay and the next one that is which city is called the queen of nilgiri hills yes it's called that is ooty is called as a queen of nilgiri hills which is a famous tourist city in the southernmost tip of india that is kanya kumari okay children i hope you all are having a cd in your book okay if possible you can listen from that also or we have the same uh, script which is given in the cd in the page number 39 so i just want you to first turn over the page number 39 and listen to this small conversation okay children of course uh, you might you may be aware about the tours planning and all or may not be okay so if you have observed that how in what with the your parents and all the plan up for a tour and all it's not key children tour doesn't mean that you plan it all of a sudden it's highly impossible right okay so for if you want to go to tour you have to know what which vehicle you have to take and of course tour is like a long period journey right at least it can be a four to five days or more than that days right so of course you have to plan that wherever you go you you should know that where you have to stay that night halt and all right so of course your parents will make a pre plan then only they will move out for the tours and all okay now it never happens that it's all all of a sudden so here we have a small conversation between uh, uh, the person who uh, means who gives the idea of the, about the trips and all we have means you might have seen some uh, what you call travel agencies and all where uh, they will be having more knowledge about the uh, the places where uh, you have you can go for such a vacation trips and all right so of course we and even they will be knowing all the knowledge about the 
um, places all the knowledge about the what kind of hotels and all are there and not only that children even many things are there that uh, they will give you about uh, the means what kind of languages they are spoken there what kind of food is being eaten there right okay and what is the climate condition and all everything they will give you information because they are in touch with such places, such kind of places where we say that the tourist places and all okay so here let's see that we have a small conversation here uh, a family is planning to go to kanyakumari so i want you all to open the page number 39 and you can see that Kanyakumari, where three seas meet. I hope you all know what is a sea, right? It's the biggest water body, we can say. Not uh, bigger than the ocean, but um, smaller than the ocean itself. The salty water will be there. Okay. So, here three seas meet. So, that is Kanyakumari. So, here let us see what kind of conversation. Uh, father, I can say. So, father and a person who has the knowledge all about the trips and all they have a small conversation over the phone okay now mr singh is speaking good morning sir how can i help you so here they have planned means they are, i think they are planning to go for a trip and all so obviously they had to speak to the particular person right so they have called to mr ajay says jane okay so as soon as he picks up the call he they say good morning sir how can i help you so mr ajay singh is calling to mr singh okay mr singh is a person who knows uh, the knowledge about the places and all and uh, Mrs. Ajay Singh is a person who is going for a trip, right? Okay, so as and children, we all know that, okay, whenever you call for uh, any such kind of offices and or any such kind of uh, uh, what you call malls, whatever it is, first they will introduce themselves, right? Mm, telling that they are, they are from this place and all whatsoever, okay? Uh, maybe you better heard about the finance companies and all, okay? Hello, uh, Bajaj Com Bajaj Finance. What's ki some kind of uh, they'll you in advance the means to the whom we have called, okay? Here, here the same thing. Mr. Singh is uh, being humble. He speak to him. Good morning, sir. How can I help you? So Mr. Ajay Singh Jain says, "Hello, I am Ajay Jain. I am planning a holiday trip to the south. Can you guide me?" So Mr. Ajay Singh says. South India is full of places of tourist attraction. Do you have any particular place in mind, Mr. Ajay Jain? Yes, of course, children in South India, there are many places to go. Okay, if you call, say only that only South India means he can't help you, right? You have to tell the particular place name. Okay, so he asks us that whether any particular thing, place is there that you have to go. Then Mr. Ajay Jain says, can you give me some information about Kanyakumari? So Mr. Singh says, well, Kanyakumari is located in the southernmost tip of India. It is the place where three seas, the Bay of Bengal, the Arabian Sea and the Indian Ocean meet. Children, just if you go, uh, what do you call, I just have a look at the, the globe, okay, you will see this. Indian Ocean, Arabian Sea uh, and the Bay of Bengal, okay. So, these three meet at Kanyakumari, okay. Mr. Ajay Jain, how can we reach there? So, what it means, he is asking whether what uh, train, we do have any train facilities or bus facilities or any, uh, okay, aeroplane facilities or what. So, he is asking, how can we reach there? So, Mr. Singh says, Kanyakumari is well connected by rail, rail, okay, and road, both. So, he has a facility for both, the train as well as bus also, okay. The nearest airport is at Tiruvananthapuram, which is 87 kilometer away from Kanyakumari. Then... So the air, even they have an airport also, but it is not exactly at Kanyakumar itself, but they have to get down here at Thiruvananthapur, which is the capital of, uh, what do you call, Kerala, right? So there they have to get down and, and from there again, it, uh, they have to travel by a taxi or cab, whatsoever, okay? It's 8-7 kilometer away from the Thiruvananthapuram. Mr. Jain, what type of clothes should we carry with us during the season? Children, you may be feeling that you know, why he is asking, okay? Of course, children, you have to ask because we, whenever we are traveling, if the play, the way, place where we are living, if it is not that cold and we think that even it is the same uh, wherever we want, that we will suffer a lot. If it is too cold, then you need to take some sweaters and uh, uh, warm clothes, right? So, that's what he wanted to ask, that what kind of clothes should I take? Then Mr. Singh says, the climate is humid. Humidity in this is not, uh, it's too like, uh, what do you call, moisture will be red less in the air, it will be too hot, kind of like, okay. So, carry only cotton clothes with you. Yes, it's a bit hot, na, so you can carry only cotton clothes. Let me also tell you, Mr. Ajay, that the main languages spoken there are Tamil, Malayalam and English. So, here the people mostly speak only Tamil, Malayalam and English. Since most people can understand English, I don't think you will have any problem with the language. 
so i hope you understood children why he is saying this to mr ajay because he was speaking in english itself na so he says that sir i don't think so you will face any, any problem because well and good you, you can speak english much better mr ajay jain can you tell me about the places to see to be seen there so even next he is asking that what are the places that i can see there after going there then mr singh says my pleasure sir you must visit kumari amman temple gandhi memorial lighthouse and vivekananda rock memorial and don't forget the bathing ghats vivekananda rock memorial is a most important tourist place it is located on the huge rock in the sea and was built in 1970 there is a ferry service to visit the memorial memorial i am sure you will enjoy the ferry ride kanyakumari is famous for its spectacular sunrise and sunset especially on full moon days okay full moon days means like purnima we say na on that day full moon days called as purnima its beaches are wonderful with multi colored sands i am sure that you will enjoy your visit mr ajay jain thank you sir mr singh mr singh welcome sir bye till we meet again so this was the conversation between ajay singh and mr singh so here ajay singh is planning to go for a two trip so he needs some information so he has called uh, concerned person to know more, much more to get more details about the place where he is going okay and i hope you even you to also got some kind of idea that if you are going to kanyakumari what kind of clothes you have to wear what uh, languages you should know okay and even you now for a time being even you have known then what are the most important places to visit there right so here we have a small activity after that after listening to that i have tried to answer there itself i hope you can see over there right so here while you are listening to the conversation between ajay singh j ajay jain and mrs singh fill in the blanks in the blurbs below it is located at dash india at the southern southernmost tip of india right the beaches have dash sand yes of course they are having multi colored sand and the, what are the languages spoken there tamil malayalam and english are the languages spoken then dash is an important tourist place that is vivekananda rock memorial is a is an important tourist place nearest airport is dash kilometer away it is 87 kilometer away okay children so children in the next page see i have just tried to tell you explain you this thing okay but uh, uh, what do you call i don't know how many of you have the habit of observing this big big posters uh, and all right i don't know how many of you do this okay whenever you have an advertisement and all you should have uh, means give a small glance at such kind of things children then you will understand that in what way they will advertise their places resorts you know like uh, wherever you go you need to live somewhere right resorts is like uh, what you call to live uh, place like it can be like a uh, lodge like or i can say that a place where you can live right so resorts and all and even their prices also for means for one day in the room means if you have to stay in the room for a day how much is required if it is a bedroom double bedroom or single bedroom whatsoever okay you you may have come across such kind of conversation when your parents may be speaking to the person and all right maybe so here in the page number 29 children we have a small information about an advertisement okay see the first summer delights snow crest manor manali okay it's a uh, what do you call the resort's name children okay it's a hotel name where uh, lodges are like both two in one another a deluxe 30 room hotel located uh, at the highest point in manali offering the best view in town with all modern facilities see how they advertise children if you see if you simply say that uh, so and so thing is uh, what i call places there in such a place such a uh, situated or such a place and all no one will come to you suppose you just think that you are the owner of uh, that particular resort okay so if you give you your advertisement in a very simple way no one will get attracted so you need to be have a kind of like a, what uh, creative okay you have to you such a word, kind of words and all ways that people will get attracted so it is all about their first advertisement that it says that a deluxe 30 30 room hotel located at the all the highest point in mumbai offering the best view student wherever you go to such hill stations and all you want to just look at the from the top of the house right so that you can see the beauty of the nature so they are saying that offering the best view in town with all modern facilities then spring fields it's also another hotel you can see there the picture a large 11 room maharaja's retreat with private lawns parking beautiful view and royal service okay 
see how they have given the advertisement right in their own way it depends upon even we do think right where we have to go and all depends some people will uh, love the way they have advertised or some people will be like uh, going with the uh, what do you call uh the cost and all some people will go about the facilities which is provided there over there okay and it depends on individual that how what they will dis, uh, decide now now children uh, now we have a travel agency right they are telling uh, travel agency is a person that where they will have their own vehicle and all and means they will provide you to like buses i mean i think you might have seen such kind of vehicles okay where they will take you people and they will bring you back okay but uh, they, we have to pay some money and all or maybe we should, we should be member of that particular uh, uh, what do you call travel agency and all right see what is that b5 a travel agency has given the travel ads pay to the student of your school okay so in the school they have come and given the ads because uh, summer vacations are approaching and they have they have been brought the, all the pamphlets okay to give you so that you can go and give to your parents read the ads carefully and show the page to your parents okay so the perfect vacation with beta travels to the world's amazing places so the travels agencies the travels name is beta travels okay so they are given some uh, what do you call plans and all uh, so depends it uh, depends upon individual that which plan they can any any one plan you can opt okay and uh, means you have to plan for any one place and you can opt for any one plan there okay so what is see, let us see that how many advertisements he has given he has given about four places advertisement okay children it is all our well and wish whichever we want we want we can choose it okay the first one is the kashmir which we call as a paradise of india uh, of our country so that is kashmir that is india paradise of earth is located in the himalayan valley Srinagar the capital city is built on the two banks of the river Jhelum you can stay on the houseboats see even i think you might have known, known about the houseboats right so houseboats are they will they will be almost in the on the water itself a kind of houseboat where it looks like a house itself okay you can stay on the houseboats in the dal lake a nice place to buy very good carpets and shawls even they are telling that what are they famous for that place okay so you'll get good carpets and shawls in their place and attraction is gardens okay kathmandu that is nepal another beautiful city located in the himalayas enjoy the scenic beauty of snow covered peaks in kathmandu you can visit buddhist temples or go trekking attraction is photography so at this place you can have a good uh, what do you call photography and all then dubai uae beautiful well developed city located in at the sea coast in the desert land okay ideal place for water sports and lots of shopping attraction is oil wells mauritius land of beautiful beaches water sports and game of fishing full of scenic beauty attraction beaches take part in our travel competition and win world tour okay they have a certain certain competition means you have to take part to the, in that and you will get a ticket for world wild tour okay 7 days 8 nights packages there means there is an i said uh, they will provide you all the bus everything and all for this many days means you have to pay something for that okay so 7 days 8 nights choose any two of the above places package cost is 30% 30000 per person so one person it is 30000 rupees okay so any two places they can choice for one person uh, only 30 sorry 30000 rupees and even they have given the phone number and all okay so it is a way how they have advertised about their travels now you, it is your homework children you have to do on your own okay this part uh, what is that is yes so do you and your parents like the travel packages offered by beta travels why or why not okay you just have to discuss you show even you can also take some advices or suggestion from your parents also children and you can write down the down the answer there okay show them this plan which is given in the page number 30 okay talk about them and ask whether which uh, which plan was very helpful for you or useful for you and you have to give the reason if you don't did not like also you have to give the reason if you like it also you have to give the reason there okay and next one you see in the b7 what is that find more about the place that you wish to visit during winter vacation paste the picture of the place and write three or four sentences to make a travel ad for that place okay even you might have some dreams and all to go somewhere and all so you have to play paste some picture of uh, that particular place as, as you have they had done in the page number 39 the same way you have to do and you have to write the ad for that 
ओके हाउ दे हव डन इन द पेज नंबर थर्टी सिक्स थर्टी ना एड्स एंड ऑल इन द सेम स्टाइल इवन यू हेव टू क्रिएट युअर ओन ऐड सो दट पीपल शुड गेट अट्राक्टेड टूवर्ड्स युअर दिस थिंग ओके ऐड एंड दे हेव टू कम टू युअर प्लेस सो चिल्ड्रन यू हेव टू इट्स युअर ड्यूटी दैट यू हेव टू पेस्ट अ पिक्चर ऑफ पर्टिकुलर प्लेस वेयर यू वॉन्ट टू ट्रैवल एंड गिव एन गुड एड फॉर दैट ओके सो इट इज युअर होमवर्क सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द लेसन चिल्ड्रन फर्स्ट लेट मी शो यू समथिंग Wait. Yes, children. Just have a look at this. Okay. Uh, later on, I'll tell you what is this. Maybe many of you may might have travelled in such a way, or maybe for the first time. Okay. You just have a look at this video. Later on, I'll tell you what it is. Can I hope you can are guessing it? What actually it is? Yes, now they are entering the forest. Okay, it's a forest where they are entering, and you can see these animals standing there. Okay, okay, these are chalo. Chalo, we'll just have a look. Okay, these are cows. I think you might have seen in your places also, right? Okay, they are. They are not cows. Or they are not cows, okay? They are. Neil guy, something. You can just listen to this video, okay, children. you can see the vehicle there okay you can you can just identify see the look at the vehicle children it's so protect you right only a small part is kept to uh, what do you call it? opening is given and it's completely covered with these grills can you see it over there yes look i just have a look okay see they are entering the forest now they are just entering the forest okay have you ever visited children Wow. See, I think that they are. Yes, see, there you can see. So very closely you can see. It. Okay, you might have seen a zoo, zoo also, children. But this is something different. Okay, where you are in the means you can see it is exactly opposite. You are like in the zoo and the animals are outside where you can move freely. I mean, the animals are can move freely. But you are you sitting in the jail. You have to see. You can see all these animals. Just look at that. Very close, right? yeah children this kind of journey we adventure we call it as a jungle safari okay that is what today, in today we are going to know about the story of what this jungle safari okay see how close how close right children just think about that i hope many of you have visited the zoo right it is don't you think it's exactly opposite in the zoo animals will be in the jail and you will be outside moving freely okay but when you are going to jungle safari children it means they have to go, they go into the national parks okay and their animals are set free right and you are sitting in a jail and you have to uh, means you have to get uh, see all this it's a bear safari it seems uh, see i just will have a look they are going to show you everything okay don't worry about that Yes, you can see the bear there. Have you ever travelled, children? Such kind means have you ever been had been to such kind of journeys? Uh, so jungle safari, we call it as a jungle safari. Yes, see, 
it's on the road see children they are sitting on the road very closely okay and they are not doing anything to the people right see there see there just see there see children now you can see this the king right see very close they are very close right just i just imagine that just so in being so close to that lion wow right such kind of experience see how close they are and see the you see the window is too small okay even they can't attract also but you have to be careful you should not put your fingers your hand or whatsoever outside then it, you will be in a trouble okay but uh, and this all advice will be given by the people uh, when you are sent uh, to this uh, jeep or kind of vehicle which they use for jungle safari okay so here we can see there see how close very close they are just looking don't you have means have dare you need lot of guts right uh, if you were there i think uh, you will start you will be starting running to here and there in your own vehicle right children see just look at yeah it's a tiger is is looking like a white tiger there see children is on the road just sitting on the road okay when they can't move forward Uh, you can see that. See how tiger is sitting on the. It means see though you can just see that the animals are so free that so so freely sitting on the road and all without any fear, right? So uh, it's they like they it's their home, children, right? Forest is their home. Just see. so this is called as jungle safari, children. And uh, see, uh, yeah, children. So now till now I have just showed you the video of the jungle safari. Okay, so where I said you that it is a jungle safari means almost it will be in the national parks and all where. the animals uh, are kept in the forest and taken care of by the governments okay they will take care of this uh, animals and all and they are kept outside freely but you have to go in a vehicles and all you will be allowed to go inside and see but uh, you have to they will give you lot of instructions that not to keep your hands outside not to peer, peep your head whatsoever outside okay or else you will be in a danger okay but it's really children it will be having very fun because you will be very close to the animals and all really it will have good fun okay if you are not gone just ask your parents okay to, to take you okay yes before children before lesson the ask uh, starting the lesson let's uh, go have a glance on the meanings okay yes we have many words over here that is excitement children excitement is something child suppose today your father or mother came and told okay chalo tomorrow we are going to uh, go for a tour and all so what will be your reaction children yes that is called as excitement okay maybe you may not sleep that night also when your father will declare that okay tomorrow we are going for a trip right may you may you may not sleep that night also that excitement will be there and it will uh, like hold you right it will make you so energetic that you will forget to sleep and you cast start uh, what you call packing your bags and all okay it's called as excitement infused means to fill zeal means powerful interest okay approach means to go near foggy obscured by mist or fog in the early morning children with the fog and all it's called well as obscured means covered okay covered means with the mist and fog right deter means to discourage spirits means soul exclusive whole or entire or we rich also we can say right mist means a layer of fine droplets right which you see children on the leaves and all in the early morning if you go you will get this mist mist okay mesmerized means fascinate or hypnotize hypnotize means children see when something you like you just stare at that particular thing okay in the same way it's called as mesmerizing dazzled means impressed agility means very fast or quick motion impressed means strong or affect, affected strongly affected swiftness means very fast hastily means hurriedly okay why these words are there are there in your lesson children so before that if you know the meaning of these words it will help you to write down children you may might have learnt about the national parks and all 
in your social studies or in gk central you might have heard about that so what is the national park children it's a park where it uh, in use for conversation conservation of purposes created and protected by national governments okay uh, and national parks are always to the free to, free to visit for the visitors to go there right so we can say that it's like a exploring forest we can say right just yourself going inside the forest and exploring yourself we can say all right so such kind of places are called as national parks and all and we have many park like banargatta national park and all then corbett national park we have then bandavgar bandavgar national park gir wild wild life sanctuary we have then we have what we call as kana national park and all okay so we have here in the lesson about the jungle safari in kanha national park okay so uh, we will just li listen to the story first okay then we will go with the explanation and all uh, children always uh, what i do is i'll read the story in front of you okay you man you have to practice in the same tone how i read okay just have a practice read uh, in a quicker way and all don't make any kind of sounds and all okay so shall we start so before that so i want you all to keep your fingers on the words where i read okay and just follow the rules and pronunciation listen to the words how i pronounce and i want you all to pronounce perfectly when you read okay shall we start children yes here, go. here we go jungle safari my excitement was at its peak we were going to visit kanha national park which provided setting for rudyard kipling's classic novel the jungle book we slept early that night so that we could get up early the next morning as the alarm rang my sister and i jumped out of our beds and quickly started to get ready for one of our thrilling journey ever a visit to Na kanha national park on a boat this was the first time we were going to experience it and it very thought infused zeal in me as we approached the lake the foggy weather did not deter our spirits there was an exclusive boat waiting for our for our family we quickly hop hopped into the boat while the mist unfolded over the waters of the vast artificial lake i was mesmerized by the beauty of the nature around me soon the mist started clearing i saw the colors of the lake waters turn from silver to golden the rays of the sun kissed the waters which dazzled my eyes suddenly i spotted a herd of samba deer close to the lake waters their agility and swiftness left me impressed as they disappeared into the forest hastily with their determined resolved and calm mind we started the trek we pretended that the knowledge of bears pythons and cobras being present in the forest and did not matter to us at all but were, were we not fooling ourselves yes we were scared but at the same time we were excited and keen to go ahead on the way we saw the footprints of elephants bears and tigers we saw a watch tower in the forest and had a beautiful view of the forest from atop the tower tired but enthusiastic we came to the end of the trek it was now time for our journey back but not before we had decided to immerse our leg in the cool waters of lake it was so beautiful to see swarms of small little fish in the waters under feet the sight of a family of tiger which we spotted just before the end of our journey left us amazed the father the mother and the two baby tigers all together it appeared as if they had just come out to meet all of us who had come looking for them all the way from delhi with this beautiful sight my boat journey of kana national park came to an end it was and will remain an unforgettable experience in my life okay so children i just want you to read in the same tone okay please make your reading skill much better okay read children before going to bed now at least please 
just a para just a page okay just read and go to sleep it's my humble request okay children so here i hope when i was reading most of you might have understood what actually the story is okay so here we can see the two children like you people they have got a very good news from his from their parents that they are going to going to visit the kanha national park okay the very next day so before that children we have small activity to that have to be done in the in the same page page number 32 they have asked the given the name of the park national park and wildlife sanctuary and you have to write the place where it is okay so karbet national park it is in uttarakhand children u t t r h k h a n d right on the there uttarakhand then comes bandhavgarh national park it is in mp it is madhya pradesh m a d h y a p r a d e s h okay and gir wild national wildlife national sanctuary is in Guj gujarat okay so you can write on the these three there and if possible children collect uh, still three four three or more national parks which you may get from the google or you can ask your parents who has visited there okay uh, so i just wanted to add up still two or three to this list so so we start children and yeah you are going to underline the words the difficult words because you know that in the first main you are going to write down the new words okay jungle safari my excitement underline the word excitement children e x c i t e m e n t excitement so i had told you the meaning of excitement my excitement okay it is to energize the energetic okay it was so energetic was at its peak means there was no control children of for his excitement because he had such a good news of going for the jungle safari we were going to visit kanha national park so kanha national park is in mp children okay madhya pradesh kanha national park which provided setting for rudyard kipling's classic novel the jungle book so this is this uh, what do you call uh, clipping is taken from the what do you call the uh, jungle book written by rudyard kipling okay this part of story is taken from that book uh, the jungle book we slept early that night so that we could get up early and the next morning as the alarm rang my sister and i jumped out of our beds and quickly started to get ready for one or one of our thrilling journey ever so yeah children see if i if, if it was a school most of you will feel so lazy hey it's okay mama for 5 minutes i'll sleep off afterwards i'll get up so you give such kind of excuses okay when uh, you don't have any if you don't have any interest in going to that particular place but when there is an excitement of whether like, going to such places and all not children i i am i'm damn sure that you may not sleep that night also right you will be thinking that when the day will start and when you are going to set out for the journey so this this kind of what do you call excitement will be there in everyone it can be a small child to a oldest one okay everyone will be having such kind of energetic energetic uh, time okay uh, so here he says that we slept okay the, the child is telling about what actually happened we slept early that night so that we could get up early so that purpose they slept very early that night so that in the morning they can get up early as the alarm rang alarm i hope you all know right my sister and i jumped out of our bed and quickly started to get ready for one of our thrilling journey ever so thrilling t h r i l l i n g i want you to underline the word thrilling okay means exciting journey so i want you all to underline the word even journey also journey is like a trip children okay a visit to kanha national park on a boat even it's not like they're not going by train or bus or aeroplane okay they're going by boat wow i saw my children a visit to kanha national park on a boat this was the first time we were going to experience it and very thought infused zeal in me so underline the word infused and separately zeal also infused means it was filled okay only with it means they were just like very eagerly waiting for to get into the boat go for the journey and to just to see the animals with a very close look okay so that kind of uh, energy uh, was going on in their mind see this was the first time we were going to experience it and we very thought means very thought means the same thought but even i wish they to think about that it was making them with full of energy like a battery when is given okay with full of energy in the same way so as we approached already i told you the meaning of this word in approach means 
to go very near okay to go near approach underline the word approach there a p p r o a c h e d approach the lake the foggy weather did not deter our spirits foggy weather means in the morning children right it was like full full of foggy and all with our uh, obscure with mist or fog and all right but though it was foggy they did not uh, feel uh, bored means their energy was not loosened so they have given their word is they the weather did not deter our spirit deter means did not discourage it was they that did not uh, 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 lower their energy okay whatever it is though it was foggy also but their energy was still at the peak of their energy level okay there was an exclusive boat exclusive means whole boat means no other members were there in that boat only this family it was waiting for this family only it was a big hole a big, a big uh, boat okay so underline the word exclusive e x c l u s i v e x exclusive boat waiting for our family we quickly hopped into the boat so one by one one by one they sat took their place in the boat and sat there while the mist unfolded over the water unfolded means children slowly it's moving away okay the mist only only early morning we can find the mist right children it will not be the their whole day right so slowly as the sun was rising na slowly this mist was clearing up then now they were able to see the nature everything and all the water clearly everything it was clear for them okay slowly it was unfolding means uh it was like unfolding means it was just uh, moving away okay away from the uh, in, in sight unfolded over the waters for the vast artificial lake it was a artificial lake it was not a uh, nature lake children it was done by the man made lake it was a artificial lake i was mesmerized underline the word mesmerized i had i had told you mesmerized means it will hypnotize your children you get so attracted that you will be like you will not move from there okay it was mesmerized underline the word mesmerized by the beauty of the nature around me soon the mist started clearing i saw the colors of the lake waters turn from silver to golden see why they are using this word is because children but we can we know that the sunlight falls on the water can it looks so shiny so how see as the foggy mist was just moving out now it was turning the color of the what do you call water was was changing from silver to golden the rays of the sun kissed the water wow which dazzled my eyes this dazzle means it was impressing its eyes it is asking you to look at me look at me look at me right so it was impressing my eyes suddenly i spotted a herd of sambar children just sambar deer okay here yeah, children it's a collecting on that okay collect uh, to, uh, in the beginning only i have sent you a video regarding the nouns and that kinds okay collecting noun is a, is a kind of noun where we have a group of same kind of animals or same kind of things we are a person we can say okay so here it was a herd of samba deer close to the lake waters maybe they have come to drink water they you can see in the picture also in your book children they were very close to the water river okay their agility and swiftness i said your agility and swiftness means there is nothing but almost the same very fast or quick motion okay even swiftness is also like very fast itself very quick they were left me impressed as they disappeared into the forest hastily right so as soon as they they felt that someone was coming in the lake they did not wait for a second they they just ran into the even children even they are also scared okay how we are scared of those animals even they too are also scared of us right so they started running into the forest back with a determined resolved and calm mind we started the trek okay underline the words all th- these two words determined resolved okay underline, underline these two words so they had decided and they resolved themselves and they were with a calm mind they started their journey or trek we pretended that the knowledge of bears pythons and cobras being present in the forest did not matter to us at all okay they were acting ah it's okay if the bear will come to me in front of me na i will uh, stand there only means they were just talking to each other as if they will they are not scared of anything okay in that way see see how they are saying that uh, pretend means children i have told you that pretend means like acting okay so underline this word pretending pretending means to have a give a fake uh, uh they are what do you call uh, acting and all we can say that we pretended that the knowledge of bears pythons and cobras being present in the forest did not matter to us at all eh yeah, let it come we'll see so this kind of talks were going on though inside themselves they were so scared actually see they are is given there but were we not fooling ourselves 
so it was actually they were making making fool of themselves right telling that i don't uh, means i'm not bother uh, bothered about these pythons and all i'm not scared about these animals and all right but they were fooling themselves right so it was just uh, telling to themselves saying that uh, I'm, we are not interested in that particular thing and all then yes we were scared but at the same time same we were excited and keen to go ahead on the way we saw the footprints of uh, elephants bears and tigers okay as they were moving they saw the footprints of these elephants bears and tigers we saw a watch tower in the forest and had a beautiful view of the forest from the top of the tower children if you go to tower forest you will be having a tower student to where you can go climb there and can watch the whole forest from the tip top okay when they traveled they just uh, climbed up the tower and looked from the top it was so beautiful from the top and one more thing something they had said then we have we, and they saw the watch tower where the tower the watch will be fixed okay where you can from any corner of the forest as you can we can see the clock there okay that much height it will be so watch tower even they have seen the watch tower over there and a beautiful view of the forest from the top of the tower tired but enthusiastic underline the word enthusiastic they were tired though they were tired children but still that energy was there so interested that we came to the end of the trek it was now time for our journey back now the whole day they had traveled everywhere in the forest now it's a time to go back to their home but not before we had decided to immerse our legs children immerse means to put our leg okay to put ourselves see if you are, had taken the water in your glass and if you put it of your finger in that it's called as immersing okay immerse means to uh, to keep yourself your hand or whatsoever inside that water to completely immerse our legs in the cool waters of course children whenever you see a water and all of course you would like to sit uh, at the bank of the river and you would like to put your water in the water that uh, leg into the water right so even they were also waiting for that time to come and they uh, and sit uh, near the water and put their legs in the, into the water but not before we had decided to immerse our underline the word immerse also okay our legs in the cool water of the lake it was so beautiful to see swarms of small fish little fish in the water under our feet so here also it's a collected on that swarm of little fish there okay the sight of the family tiger which was we spotted spotted means just they saw as they were coming back children they saw the family the mother the father and the two cubs they were just sitting and playing together see there which we spotted just before the end of our journey left us amazed like it was like surprise for them the father the mother and the two baby tigers all together it had appeared as if they had just come out to meet all of us who had come looking all for all the way from delhi so he is saying that they actually they have come outside just to to welcome us because we have traveled all the way from delhi uh, so they have come to meet us in that way he gives the answer with the with this beautiful sight my boat journey of kana national park come to an end it was an Uh, it was and will remain an unforgettable experience of my life so here the boy says that i will never forget such a kind of beautiful adventure okay in the forest see that's what he says here uh, in the story right right you can see the picture also right see how he is so attracted towards this animals and all and children i hope you are you have understood the story now children we have a puzzle a jumbled words a sentence given there but you have to reorder in a proper way okay see we saw the footprints of elephants bears and tigers there was a special boat for our family we spotted a family of tiger we began trek with a small calm minds we got early in the morning got up early in the morning we put our legs in the cool waters of lake we saw a herd of sambar deer close to the lake so the first one what you should you only write down and write on the uh, understand and uh, what do you call it? after this you can correct it okay the first one we can see that we got got up early in the morning the second one is there was a special boat for our family and the third one is we saw a herd of samba deer close to the lake and the fourth one is we began trek with a calm mind and the fifth one is we saw footprints of elephants bears and tigers and sixth one is we put our legs in the cool waters of the lake and the last one is there was a uh, we spotted a family of tiger okay So these are the seven sentences given. So I'll read out the numbers now. It is five two seven four one six three. Okay. Just have a glance and correct yourself if you have made mistakes over there. Okay. And then we have we have to find the meanings from the lesson itself. Okay. Discouraged from being doing something good. It means to deter. D e t e r. Deter. Discouraged. Okay. Quickness. Children, we have many words in the lesson uh, which is related to the quickness. That is hastily or we can say swiftness. Right. overwhelm 
like dazzled or we can say mesmerized right or hypnotized expedition it's a journey or a trek or a trip okay so i'll send you the, you have to write down these answers in your book also and as well as in class work also okay what is the narrator excited about the narrator is excited about his visit to kanna national park how did the boy water turn from silver to golden as soon as the mist started clearing the color of the sky, lake water turned in from silver to gold was the narrator scared of wild animals in the forest give a reference for the text to justify your answer so group of uh, okay so you have this all you have to write down on your uh, i'll send you the answers children so uh, don't worry about that so words used is like uh, as children i already we have learned about the correct noun right where the group of same animals or group of uh, same uh, kind of we see we give a particular group name okay it's called as a collective noun there so here first one they have given a group of sheep which means flock of sheep a group of wolves is called as a pack of wolves then the come next comes a group of monkeys it is troop and the group of geese that is gaggle the group of tigers is called as streak and a group of whales is called as a pod okay children now it's a high time it's your homework children see what is that is given in your life skill see right what arrangements would you make if you were tra to travel uh, to national park okay means uh, you have got a plan already that tomorrow or later tomorrow you are going we are going to for the national park what are the things that you need to prepare okay uh, means what all things you will do to keep to, uh, to start, make your journey so beautiful that you have to write down there discuss in the class also make the list of things that you okay this one you have to do on your own children and uh, one more thing is that you see in the page number 36 they have given that asa lives in kashmir she is uh, in class 4 during a summer vacation she visited many places uh, photographs and had made notes and let us know about the places through asa's pictorial diary see so in her diary you can see the page number 37 38 there are the pictures which were all she has traveled and taken the pics of those animals Uh, sorry of those uh, places and all and uh, she has stick it over there okay so uh, if you want you can also just children give a place name already i have given one homework over there you can just try it for that okay so i hope you have understood the story i will send you the notes to the pdf and all right children thank you